Dating can be stressful, which is why I believe that every chick needs to have a set of power tools. Dating power tools. These are things that help to increase confidence, slim, make you look and feel beautiful before you go out on a date. It also helps to make the next morning not quite as awful. What I mean is, first, pop chips. Original pop chips. And the reason is because, especially if you're going on a drink state, when you go on a drink state, you usually don't eat first, right? So you arrive and you're probably a little hungry and then you start drinking. You need a base. You don't want to have a full meal before you go because what if the date is great and it turns into a dinner date? Well, you've already had dinner, so that sucks. So instead, have a base, something that's substantial enough in your stomach so that you're not going to get wasted immediately, but also so that you're not completely full. You also don't want to eat something that makes you have offensive breath. So, original pop chips is perfect. It stays in your stomach for a little while. It creates that nice foundation. Another thing, asparagus. I know, aside from the smelly pee factor of asparagus, asparagus has actually been shown to help minimize a hangover. So if you eat asparagus before or after your drink, you drink, then tomorrow morning the chances of a hangover are less. Then there's yams. What's great about yams is that they are filled with potassium, similar to bananas. So if you eat yams before a date, a couple of hours before a date, it helps to depuff you. It actually helps to slim you, to get some of that excess water out. So if it's that time of the month, or if you had a little bit too much salt the day before, a yam can help get all of that out. Cucumbers. <laughs> What is with the phallic foods? <laughs> Cucumbers are another great depuffer. They're filled with water. They're very low in calorie. They also help you to detox and they're alkaline. It's a great thing to have before a date, probably in the morning or the afternoon to help start flushing out the water. Then, Greek yogurt. Now, you're not going to actually eat this yogurt. You're going to put it all over your face. It's a refrigerator facial. So a couple of hours before the date, just take a thing of Greek yogurt. I like Greek yogurt more than regular yogurt because there's less sugar, there's more protein, and that's what you really want. It helps to exfoliate your skin and reveal a natural glow. So you're just gonna put it all over your face. It looks a little weird. It's edible, at least. Let it sit there for five to 10 minutes and then wash it all off and you will have a much more glowing skin that, that you're able to show off after. It's very, very nice. Then, soybeans. Soybeans are filled with magnesium and these are just shelled edamame. These are actually frozen. I always keep them in my, in my freezer because they're delicious and filled with protein, but they also help to regulate blood pressure and keep your adrenaline level in check. The way that that helps you is it helps to minimize anxiety. So if you're, you feel like you have butterflies in your stomach that are going insane, some soybeans are a perfect snack. It's also another great foundation or a baseline before you're gonna start drinking. Salmon, also filled with magnesium. So if you're on the date, salmon is a good choice of something to eat. Then, coffee grinds. Now, this also is not to drink. You know, well, there's nothing wrong with drinking coffee. This smells so good. <laughs> coffee grinds help to actually slim you when you put it on your body. So after you're done drinking your coffee, take the grinds or just take fresh grinds, these are fresh, fresh grinds, and then mix them in olive oil or a little bit of soap, and when you're in the shower, scrub them all over your butt and your thighs. <laughs> and it will help, the caffeine helps to speed up, basically, the metabolism in the area. It helps to push out the water, which, you know, people say you get dehydrated from drinking coffee. Same thing happens when you actually put it on you. Then, you know I'm all about the power panties. Red panties, because according to feng shui belief, the color red helps to naturally help increase confidence and luck. Now, while I'm all about power panties when it comes to work, it also can help on a date. Not for him. You're not wearing these for him. You're wearing them for you so that you feel confident. You have the power of feng shui on your side. Then, a quickie workout in bed. Okay, not that kind of quickie, all right? This is so that if you're wearing something that reveals your arms, you it helps to immediately make your arms look toned and have that nice yoga arm look. You know how guys, when they're nervous or right before they do something big, they go down and do push-ups? Well, not only is that great for their energy, it also helps to make them immediately look toned. So, you're gonna do 
plank. And I prefer to do it on a bed. Plank is my go-to. And you can do Pilates style plank, which is on your elbows or traditional plank. And you're just going to hold like this for a hundred seconds. You're engaging your abs, your butt, your thighs, your arms. It's an amazing total body toner. Then you can do side plank to really get into your obliques and also a little bit more into your arms. A hundred seconds on each side. <sighs> Maybe before you shower. <laughs> or else you're going to get a little sweaty. Then post-it notes. I'm all about post-it notes to help you feel good about yourself. I also do post-its in the pantry so that you don't eat late at night when you're not supposed to. Little reminders. But these are to help you boost your ego. So I like to put it on my steering wheel or on the door so before I leave to go out. This one says, you're beautiful, you deserve a kind man who loves you completely. Not bad to have in your mind before you go out on a date. Another thing you can do is an intention board. Basically, you're creating a board, you're cutting out images and words that represent what you're looking for. And then before you go on a date, you look at that intention board and you really hone in on it. Try and get the energy of what it is that you're looking for so that you go on, on the date with that in mind. It just, it helps. Then, flare. Now you need something that's gonna pop. Something that just looks a little spicy, makes you memorable. Not something overly sexy. You just want maybe one thing in your outfit. If it's an awesome belt, if it's a cool um, bag, if it's a really interesting top, something. I generally do shoes, and uh, this is often my flair, because I just think they're fabulous, and they're very quickie chick, you know, they're hot pink. And they're super high, I don't like people to think I'm short, which I am, so. Uh, <laughs> and I just, I, I like, I like feeling sexy, and if I'm wearing just a very plain outfit, I have my flair, my super high hot pink heels to just give me that little oomph that I need. So those are my dating power tools. You can choose which ones you like, all of them, none of them, or pick your own. Whatever makes you feel good about yourself before you go out so that you are presenting your best self.